And now, from the studios of Cross Training Enjoy, our feature presentation. Time for another random video. Have you ever wondered why KTM persists with their WP forks? They've tried so many designs but still can't seem to get it right. Here is their latest attempt. Doch das Kulturgut ist vom Aussterben bedroht. Nur mehr wenige Damen beherrschen die Technik und wenn man wirklich aktive Eierkratzerinnen sucht, ist die Auswahl sehr klein. <lacht> Remember this photo? Back in 1980, Dick Lasher knew St Helens was about to erupt, so like all smart dirt riders, he figured why not go out for a ride there. Apparently if he had driven over the next ridge, he would have died for sure. He drove back fast, but the ash cloud overtook him and choked the car engine. Thankfully he managed to then escape on the bike. When my back injury heals, there will be more training vids. The guys are already experimenting with new body position techniques. <laughs> Thanks for everyone's best wishes on healing up quickly after my recent accident. The spine fracture is healing up well. I am no longer wearing the body brace. I can stay upright for about two hours now until the back ache kicks in. Happy days. I won't be dirt riding for many months yet, but I may be able to ease into some adventure riding first and get some videos happening on our adventure riding channel. Aaron sent in this picture of his pet snake watching my vids. At least I think it's a snake. I hope that isn't a euphemism for something else. In a recent video, we looked at the alarming amount of motorbike gear now made in China, often with a corresponding drop in quality. About 95% of viewers said they would like to hear more about where various products are made. Stay tuned for upcoming vids. We have already done a video about boots, and after reading hundreds of user reviews, I would recommend Gaerne if you can afford it, and Forma is probably the best mid-priced boot you can buy. I have said it 467 times, stop asking me which bike you should buy. Do your own research. If you are dumb enough to ask me, my standard answer will always be the gold wing with knobbies. It's great for trials, MotoGP and snow riding. Get into it. Helmets. Aero has entered our hall of shame. Quite a few riders experience strap failures on their expensive Aero Aviator and Stelt models. We have pressured Aero to correct this issue. Here is their typical response sent to customers. The strap falls off this premium helmet after three years due to rust. Aero suggests this is normal wear and tear and won't replace the helmet. Very, very poor form, Aero. We have reported on rust with Liat's premium helmets too. Thankfully, Liat have done the right thing. They have agreed to replace all rusted helmets. We have just been shown this strap failure on a GPX 5.5 after a couple of years. So guys, remember to check these brackets regularly. I know they can be hard to access. At the very least, give the straps a good hard pull before each ride to do a basic safety check. And remember, there are many brands out there facing the same issues with rust. Be especially wary of Fox helmets. We had this report of a strap failure after only three rides. We did a video about Fox's drop in quality since most of their stuff is now made in China. 
We had plenty of feedback from viewers to confirm this is indeed a big problem. Remember, you can have just as much fun on old dirt bikes <laughs> and still fall off very gracefully if you practice enough. In the last random vid, we mentioned reports from Europe that main bearing failures in two-stroke beaters, beaters are occurring in 2020 models as well. After significant pressure was applied, Beta's head office eventually agreed to fix these cases in or out of warranty. But we are hearing reports of only parts being provided once the bike is over 90 hours. The owner must pay for all the labour. Now we aren't sure if this is a retraction of their former warranty policy or if this is Beta's intention when it comes to all these main bearing failures. It would be a sad state of affairs as two strokes subject to everyday riding can often expect to see 300 to 400 hours before main bearings are replaced. We will investigate, we will report back. Stay rubber side down guys.